Cigar lovers, today we are rolling cigars at Villa Savannah with our friends Lynn and Dave. Follow me, you are gonna have a little bit, a little taste of what Villa Savannah is and we're going to love it. Just check this out. So beautiful, fresh, the ocean view is fantastic and um, the, 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 the stuff is just wonderful. Because show must go on. Here we are at Villa Savannah. Today we are rolling some cigars to show to people how we produce, how we make a cigar. Our star roller, Javier, is with us. Javier, come over here. Venga para acá, Javier. Javier es nuestro torcedor estrella. Okay? Javier les va a mostrar a estas personas cómo se hace un puro, ¿cierto? Sí, así es. Mándele saludos a sus seguidores. Hola a todos, aquí desde Puerto Vallarta. Puerto Vallarta, a sus órdenes. Vámonos. Today we are going to show you, number one, He is my friend Javier. Javier is a master yeah. roller. Hola. He's been working in this industry for several years. The best part of Mexico to grow tobacco is Veracruz. It's in the Gulf of Mexico. So most of the Mexican uh, cigar industry is in that state, especially in a little town called San Andres Valley. San Andres Valley is the, the land that saw this gentleman to be born, okay? This tobacco that you are going to see is and, and smell and feel is from San Andres. This is Mexican tobacco. So we are going to start. I'm going to let you please go ahead. Smell, feel. All smells kind of feel what it is. Okay. It smells this, good. Like that. Oh, it smells wonderful. So many times people ask us. What is, what is in a cigar? What is a cigar made of? What is inside? So what is the paper outside? There is no paper, everything is tobacco, everything. So these tobacco leaves, we need to make a filler. We need to make something that we call la tripa, okay? This tobacco, with the expertise of his hands, he is going to to roll it, and it's going to be finished like this. All right. I'm just going to ask how, how how do you get it so smooth? But we're going to see. Oh, okay. <laughs> the, um, podrías empezar a hacer una tripa, Javier? Por favor. We need at least five different kinds of tobacco leaves. One tobacco leaf is from the bottom of the plant is for the combustion. So it's a very thin kind of tobacco that if we don't use it, uh, the cigar is not going to burn. It's going to burn very slow and uh, it's going to be off like every one minute, two minutes. We need another uh, tobacco leaf from the middle of the plant. That one gives all the flavor and all the aroma. And the tobacco leaves from the top, they are the small ones and thicker, and they give the strength to the cigar, okay? So what you are seeing now is Javier is picking the tobacco leaves, and this recipe is what we call the blend, okay? If he uses more tobacco from the top of the plant, the cigar is going to be stronger. If he uses less, it's going to be uh, obviously lighter. Normally, we divide the cigars in five strength levels. The lightest, the strongest, something in the middle, and two more. Something between mild and light, and something between mild and full body. All that is, we need um, a master blender that knows 
the flavors, the aromas, the strengths, and we need a master roller. Sometimes I work with uh, with Javier. What I do the best is smoking cigars. That's what I do the best, okay? I enjoy smoking cigars, so I am able to identify uh, the strengths, the hints of flavor, the hints of aroma. So when we started doing this, I was like, okay, you know what? We need to do this, we need to do that. That's it, right there. I, this, I was looking at you. That was that fast. That was, so fast. Yeah. yeah. This is La, La Tripa, the same that I pass to you guys, yeah. but that one is dry out. That one is ready to be smoked. If anybody wants to smoke it, go ahead. Go for it. But it's going to burn very fast. Why? Because there is no a mold that gives the shape and there is not a press that compacts the tobacco to give it a good draw. That one is going to burn like like paper, because there is no compression, okay? Now, please go ahead, smell it. This one doesn't smell the same than that, than that one, because when we get tobacco like this, humid, then the fermentation starts again. The humidity and the heat is going to make the tobacco react and it starts getting rid of the ammonia and all the bad stuff. So if you smell that one, it smells kind of um, sour. It smells kind of uh, spicy. You smell both, that one is sweeter. Yes. Uh-huh. So that's exactly, that's exactly what happens when we smoke a cigar freshly made. And most of the people think, People go to the to the cigar shop and say, oh, but I need something freshly made. I go, nothing fresh. Uh, okay, I got something fresh, but I don't advise you to smoke those cigars. But people think the fresher the best, the fresher the better. And I go, no, it's like the wine, you know? Um, the, if it's a good quality, you age it and it, gets smoother, you don't have all these uh, uh, Different temperatures, spikes, exactly, exactly. So <clears throat> Javier is going to make 10 cigars here for you guys because the last step, that one, we should put it in a, in a mold and compress it. Um, I'm gonna take one of these. What's, what is that, um, what is that adhesive that he's using there? What's that made this? of? Yeah. Okay, this is um, from a tree. Uh -huh. It's called, uh, in Spanish, we know it, traga, traga canto. A tree sap. No. Sap. It's kind of a powder from the, uh, from the tree. Uh, they, they use also something from, uh, from Canada called, um, uh, from the maple tree. And this one is called traga canto. So it's powder, and then we add a little bit of water, and it's a natural glue. Look, it doesn't smell yeah, anything. Dessert, huh? So it doesn't add any flavor to the um, to the cigar. It's 100% natural. So when you smoke a cigar, normally you're smoking tobacco that didn't have any chemical, no treatments, no, no nothing. It's just water, heat, time, and love. You know, and lots of patience. So, natural, man. it would be the process. I'm going to get this close to you. Look, that's the way it starts. Then it gets like this. Then this one comes out of the mold. How long do they have to stay in the mold? At least one hour, at least one hour. Uh, uh, some people who venture to make their own cigars, they come to the store and they ask me, why my cigars are getting tight? There are two reasons, two main reasons. One is you put too much tobacco, so when you compress it, the air, there is no way to pass through, okay? The other one is you put the right amount of tobacco, but you leave it there for one day, so the compression is going to be too much, mm -hmm. that you suck on it and it's like, like nothing coming out. 
Nothing. Okay? That's what she said. So how 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 long <laughs> ideally <laughs> does one have to sit? <laughs> one hour, two hours. Is it until not it. not like yeah, five months no. or three like not like okay. No, 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 no. It's one, two hours maximum and, and for several reasons. Another of the reasons is if we have only one or two of these uh, pieces of wood, uh -huh. so you have to recycle. Thank you. Got it. Okay, so you do it one hour and then you reuse it. Got it. And again, and again, and, and hour, again. And then after you smoke it? Um, we have to leave it into the humidor for, how long? for at least Myself, I prefer to live in the humidor for at least a week. Okay. Because the air conditioner is going to soak all the humidity. Right. So after, from there to there, there one is a week. week. Exactly. Is there any? Yes. Do so you leave it for a month sometimes or no? Like what? Way more the best than time that. Is like one. Right. Like Way more than there that. For it could be months. two. As long as you take five. care of the humidor though, right? Exactly. Yes. <laughs> I mean, that's um, what that's what he's doing now. I know. Yeah. I, 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 he take I, I, care of his cigars. Now, mode with cigars. I didn't change out like the humidifiers with it. Okay. The humidor. I'm listening. I like killed like two thousand of cigars. Feel this. That's silky, soft, elastic. Because that is that 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 is like. Oh, Jason's gonna. Well, he's gonna be so mad he missed this. Wait, why is it like that? Looks like an elephant. Because. Because that that tobacco oh leaf yeah. is grown under the shade. So less sunlight and then the leaf is going to expand and it got to be bigger to catch more sunlight. Okay. Okay, so we they're we're in the mold and then they, there's one last wrap on the This is the one? That's what he's doing. He's okay, so that's the final. That's like this is the final step. Okay. Got it. This Got is it. the final step. Okay? So, so this now is the holder on the outside? Yeah, this is the final 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 final. Yeah, the, yeah it's, it's um finito. Acabado. Yeah. Okay. Se acabó. <laughs> Once he do something like that. Now I want you to smell both. So, this is freshly made and the other one is so, being into the humidor. A week? Or, uh, over a, a month? month? Way more. A About a month. About a month. About a month. That one looks more like Elmer Fox. Uh, <laughs> that one's not right. Which one you like better? I'll tell you which one I like. This one. That one. Okay. I like this one. I don't like that one. I like that one. Right? Yes. I yeah. can look at it. It's like, huh? It's okay. better. What if I want to take some home with me? Yeah. We got to have a human door. We, we got it. We got it. So as you can, as you can tell, <laughs> the tobacco leaves, they are so different one to the other, you know? They are, this gotta be so smooth and, and elastic. Look at this. Because this is the last step, this is the skin, this is, in the in the cigars is like, we are human beings, boy and, 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 and girl, you know? First thing is you watch, you like it, you go, mm. then we smell, oh, beautiful, and then you try. These ones that I am going to show you, they are from Cuba, okay? So I hope you still remember the smell of the Mexican one. I got a bunch of these. Uh-oh. Okay. Smells. Uh -oh. Mexican? I just bought them in a humidifier the, first box. Box. So what's the biggest difference between Mexican and Cuban? I mean, obviously, we're the tobacco. Um, okay. It's just like the wine. You could plant the same seed in a different environment. The soil is going to be different. The temperature is going to be different. The climate, you see the, everything. So that makes a difference. That's what we call the the uh, terroir. In the wine industry, the terroir, it could be that you have in front of the ocean, there's a hill, and you plant uh, your grapes. You got the vinegar this side, and you got another vinegar the other side. The salt team. Uh, um, 
mist is going to give a different flavor to these ones than the other ones are not going to have. That's exactly the, the same thing with the tobacco. So the tobacco from Nicaragua, tobacco from Mexico, tobacco from Cuba, they are very different. What could be um, a solution to try to equalize is blending. And it's what many brands are doing. They got like from, from Mexico. The best they have is binder and wrappers. They get some wrappers from Ecuador. Uh, they got some filler from uh, Nicaragua. And the only country that never sells uh, some material, their tobacco, is Cuba. So all the other countries, they are trying to make something like the Cubans. But the Cubans, they don't have enough, enough tobacco. No. No? No? What is so special about the Cubans? The, the, the sun, no. the soil, the yes. elements. Oh. But also the know-how, the traditions, and the fact that the conception of the product you know it's going to be expensive, so you got to do your best. You don't jeopardize losing your reputation making a bad cigar and charging a lot. Other countries, they do cheap cigars because some of them, they say, I'm not going to compete on the major leagues, but I am going to make a affordable cigar that is good enough or another uh, part of the market. Frat party cigar. <laughs> mm -hmm. And among all those producers, some of them, they say, you know what, the hell, I'm gonna try to make the best cigar and I wanna compete to the Cuban ones. And uh, the material is key. The know-how is key. And the marketing. I have smoked some cigars that they are like high, high rated, and I'm like, ah, I'm disappointed, you know? But that happens when you have the opportunity to try cigars from different countries and compare to what is. And probably the, the opposite too. Some that are like slow, but they're like a really good. It, it happens, yes. You, yeah, you, you get some really good surprises. You get a cigar that is not even rated and you go, wow, this should be a, $45 cigar, but no, it's a $5 cigar. Wow. Yeah, but mainly that's what makes the difference. You know, they, they are special because you saw how he made it. That's true. Yes. Okay, and then that's like a um, souvenir. And then <laughs> you, you take them home, you age them for a while, and they are going to become like this or like this. So this one, Five dollars, hundred pesos. This one, eight dollars. Mm -hmm. And this is Mexican tobacco. And for the Cuban ones, I only brought two that are very uh, competitive. And the reason I brought these two is because Monte Cristo is the second most famous Cuban cigar brand. And these uh, Romeo y Julieta is the number three. But this is the new production. This is the first time Romeo y Julieta comes out with a different strength on their cigars. This is um, a full to mild cigar. And it was supposed to be released in 2020, but because of COVID, they didn't release it until um, last year. This, this year we got it in Mexico. There is a legend, you know, about cigars, there are lots of myths. Uh, one of them is that the Cuban cigars, they are, they are made on the tag of a virgin, beautiful Cuban girl. Uh, perspiring thighs of young Cuban maiden. <laughs> no, that's how it's made. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, now what you are going to see him? That's the age one or the No, no, this, this is the... This is the fresh one. Look. Look at that, see? Look at that, see?
That's a, that's a typical picture. In the factories, one of the benefits of being a cigar roller is that you are able to smoke as many cigars as you want while you are working. And then every day you have the right to take three cigars at home. But you go to Cuba, and it happens to in all the other countries. The, that's what we call la fuma. So the personal fuma. It's your personal. Um, yes. Please. Want to smoke this one? Oh, fresh one? Oh, yes. You know. I want to taste the difference. Okay. So, what is the difference between smoking fresh versus. Eight. Ah, okay. Was, uh, didn't allow it to like breathe. Like breathe. It doesn't breathe, but does that mean it's better or just different? It is going to taste different because We're there is, taste it right now. There, there is a lot of, There is a lot of <laughs> Okay. Bring it on. Smoke that one. That one is fresh. Okay, wait. Let you me give you more fire. I have a lot of apps. Okay, that's what happens when you get a fresh one. Smoking <laughs> one. That's what happens. Yeah, suck is hard, Get a little bug. Because <laughs> stuff comes out. There's some content on the website. We're updating the website. Sarah. The thing, the difference is that a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. Look at it. Look at it. Right? Look, it doesn't do that in that. That's going to be the big turn. Sorry. At least I hear it's not this time. Come see here. Slower. Mamacito was there. Do you think I'm sucking it too hard? Just gentle. That's still good. This feel good? Yeah, and this is the the, that one is safe. Tim's gonna fall out of their chair. Oh, it's just a different high. You catch the smell? I didn't try that one yet. No, the the smoke gives you a different smell. Oh, look look at the amount of smoke he's getting. Oh, yeah, he's a turner. But this that would be normal too. I think that would be normal again. You see the other one? That one has a different afterflavor. This one's. That's that's all. Oh, that you just rolled that today. Right? Yes. Okay. That's, this one's better yeah, than that. Yeah. But this is the it's fresh one. Crabby. That one is the fresh one. Fresh crab. But it tastes oh, better. Crab, crab. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, there is the personal yeah. lights yeah. and these yeah. lights yeah. as well. Yeah. But look, the amount of the smoke. That one looks harder to smoke. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, <laughs> you get bigger pops for that one. Yeah. yeah. I like, so that, I like the flavor, the flavor of the fresh one better. Yeah, the flavor oh, of the fresh okay. one is well, they would well, the fresh one. It's like your first massage, you might as well stick your Maybe because I like that there's less smoke. So, Probably. So, yeah, it is just smoke. That's really good. Season, like, how, many are, um, how many cigars do you smoke a day? Quantos puros fumas a dia? Quantos unos fumas a dia? <laughs> you don't kneel it, you just take a puff. He says, like, he says, out. like, he works at, at home now. Suck in, but then you don't he almost like, doesn't smoke quite often because it's in his house with the, with the COVID. He used to roll the cigars at home uh, in, in the store. Now with the COVID, like the store was shut down for three months. He started working at home. He doesn't want to come back to the store anymore because he spends more time with his family. So he's doing home office, but he's not able to smoke because he got the kids. My favorite tequila was um, Revolución. Oh yeah. Revolución. That's my favorite. I like 1942. It's a good tequila, but now it's harder to get it. So I got I got tired of being looking for that tequila that I have to look for other options. So I found Revolution. I love it. But last weekend I went to Tequila Town and I found one one tequila organic um, and another one called One More Time. One more time. One more time. Yeah. Uh huh. One. One or one? One. One. 
Like Juanito? Ah, Juan. Yeah, you ate one more time. Yeah. Juan yeah. more time. Yeah. yeah. And um, when I found that tequila and I love it, I made a deal with people and said, you know what? I want to have your tequila in my store. So I'm going to have it. Yes. Javier, do you like tequila? ¿Te gusta el tequila? ¿El tequila te gusta? ¿Te gusta? Sí. No, he's a healthy man. <laughs> so I can tell. Yeah, you can tell by looking at him. By the cigar. Que lo que te gusta tomar. A whiskey. He likes whiskey. Ah, uh, healthy <laughs> man. He is a whiskey man. Yeah. Yeah, what well, I mean, they kind of go whiskey and cigars go together. Yes. More than tequila and cigars. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes, now it's uh, big, well, it's becoming a trend now to pair tequila or mezcal to cigars, mm -hmm. but uh, those two they are very smoky, so it's hard to find the balance. So um, I found that um, silver or young tequila, tequila Hoen pairs better with the cigars. It's just a little bit because it's a mix of um, tequila reposado and tequila blanco. Yeah. Thank you, Dave. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure. Appreciate okay. it. Absolutely. Lynn. Muchas gracias. Okay. <laughs> See you again, Roger. Thank you so much. No problem. Okay. See you next time. Uh, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, TikTok, Instagram, <laughs> Twitter. Yeah, we don't do Twitter. We do Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. So keep following us in our social network and enjoy the day.